Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, today I want to talk about anxiety. Who has it at this point? I think everybody on the planet has got a little bit of anxiety, correct? Now, first of all, we've got to identify what is anxiety. Anxiety is based on a psychological reaction that we get when we're trying to control our future. That's right. Anxiety is when we are scared or worried because of some sort of outcome that's coming in the future. Okay? That's 99% of what anxiety is about. So what happens is we get all this symptomology, things like a raised heartbeat. We feel like we're going to pass out. We feel like the whole world is imploding and we can't see any sort of future okay some people get the shakes some people can't sleep some people get constipated they can't eat because it's a stress that comes over our body okay so understand that if you do suffer from anxiety please go and seek medical attention i am not a medical doctor I give free advice based on my own experiences as well as what I research as a spiritualist, okay? So today I want to talk about a cure that has helped me on many occasions and it's helped other, other people that I've explained this to and it's called the big fake scream. So let's get there. How does the big fake scream help us through our anxiety? Well, first of all, we've got to think of a future event that would scare some people. So let's talk about the dentist. <laughs> let's say tomorrow you've got to go to the dentist at 10 o'clock in the morning and you're sitting there and you think, oh, tomorrow I've got to go to the dentist. I've got to go to the dentist. Okay, so we try to distract ourselves. You know, you start making dinner, you watch TV, you put on your headphones, you go for a walk, or you get busy doing your work or your hobbies, right? You try to distract yourself. But at some point, the brain is going to remind us, tomorrow at 10 o'clock, we're going to the, 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 the dentist. <laughs> okay. So you've managed to get to bed that night. Probably don't sleep that much, okay? You get up the next morning and you think, oh my God, I've got to brush my teeth for 10 hours because I'm going to the da 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 So you get to the dentist. You walk in and there's a receptionist sitting there with your beautiful pearly whites. Hello. <laughs> Most receptionists of dentists have great teeth, right? So it's really obvious that you're just, oh, like, oh, look at her teeth. All right. So you walk up to the lady and the first thing you say to her is, where's your bathroom? Now, that's important because one, you want to go to the toilet before you go to the dentist, right? So then you're not peeing your pants in the chair. <laughs> You go to the toilet whether you have to go or not, okay? And the idea here is that you look yourself in the mirror, okay? And you sit there and you do a big fake scream. It's big. It's a scream, but it's fake. So no noise comes out, okay? You don't want the noise to come out because one Every man and his dog will be running in to make sure you're okay, which could be a little bit embarrassing, okay? And two, it eliminates why we're doing this. Because I'm going to go there with psychology. When we get anxious about future events, we're building up what's called an endomorphin within our body. Endorphins, I should say. We're building up endorphins that are getting pent up within our body. And that's what creates our, da -da -da -da, drum roll plays, anxiety. So we've got to get rid of this endorphin from within us. So when we do the big fake scream, we're actually releasing this endorphin into the ether of the universe 
So it's no longer within our body. Now, imagine that you go to the dentist, you walk in, you, <laughs> you walk up to the receptionist and you say, can I, can I please, 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 where, 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 where's your bathroom? So you go into the bathroom, close the door. You look at yourself in the mirror and you do this big fake scream. I'm going to do it right now, okay, to show you what it's like, okay? okay turn to the side. You do a big fake scream. No noise, okay? But imagine that you're screaming at the top of your lungs to someone two kilometers away, <laughs> okay? So it's a big scream. So you want someone two kilometers away to hear it, but you, the noise doesn't come out of your mouth. Are you ready? Here it goes. I tell you what, you calm down straight away after doing the big fake scream. If you've got an exam, if you're about to have a meeting with your boss and you think, oh, am, I, am I getting the sack? <laughs> Even if you just pull it into the petrol station and you think, oh God, should I look at the amount that I'm about to pay? Do a big fake scream. You just sit there and you do this, but you don't let the noise come out, okay? I used to teach this at first aid training when I used to be a first aid trainer. And I'd get the whole audience to do it, but only once. Because if you do it twice or three times in a row, it'll put you to sleep. Because you've released so much endorphins that it's very calming. And it actually does help us to sleep. So if you're struggling with sleep at this point, you know what to do before you go to bed. You do it about five minutes before you go to bed. Don't just do it in bed when before you want to go to sleep. Okay, so you just look yourself in the mirror and you do... Oh, oh, now I've done two. They're really calming. Because what it is, it's those endorphins that cause anxiety. We're letting them get off us. They're now in the ether of the universe where it makes us feel great. Try this one out yourself, guys. Let me know what you think below if it works, if you try this at home, okay? Please don't do it on the bus. <laughs> You know, I don't even want to replay this and see what I look like when I'm doing it. Um, but I don't care. Hello, I don't get embarrassed. <laughs> okay. So I hope that this has helped you today. Okay. Now, one thing I have gone and done, if you've liked this video and you like the others um, that I do, and you think, yeah, these are really cool, um, I've now got a link below where you can go buy me a coffee to help me support myself, okay? Um, as you know, YouTube is not monetized for me. So if you do want to go buy me a coffee as a thank you for this, if it helps you and you think, wow, Linda, you've helped me get through my anxiety, click the link below and you can buy me a coffee or two. Cheers, guys. Talk to you all soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.